And so we get the marriage of an illusion with a falsehood. And that we call ourselves. And no wonder we feel cut off from everything, alienated, frightened of life and death. So what has to happen is we have to come back to a sane view of our own life, which is the way we really are, an organism functioning in terms of the whole environment, with the whole environment, instead of this funny little separate personality. But how are we going to do that? People say, oh, you can't change human nature overnight. You're asking us to give up the ego. And that's the most difficult of all things to do. Actually, it isn't. Because the ego doesn't exist. But of course, if you try to give up your ego with your ego, then it will take you to the end of time. Because this is the point. You can't transform yourself. You can't make yourself sane. You can't make yourself loving. You can't make yourself unselfish. And yet it's absolutely necessary that we be that way. It's absolutely necessary. If we are going to hand over the direction of nature to nature, which is what it comes to, it's absolutely necessary that we let go of ourselves and it can't be done. Not by anything that we call doing it, acting, willing, or even just accepting things. You can't do it. Why? Because you don't really exist as that kind of a separate ego or personality. It's just an idea based on a phony feeling. And all you see is what goes on that is happening of itself. You're breathing. The wind is blowing. The trees are waving. Your blood is circulating. Your nerves are tingling. It's all going on with itself. But you know that's you. That's the real you. The you that goes on of itself. 